let me tell you why I like using throwing sticks and the situations I like to use them in. If I'm fishing open water and I want to put a spread of bait across two or three rods, they're perfect for getting the fish moving around between food items. You can put 50 or 100 baits out on a tennis court size area, fishing rigs like chods, hinge stiffs that lend themselves to that type of fishing. It gets fish searching around the bottom and they're burning energy and they're more susceptible to being caught. I won't just put single baits in the stick, sometimes I put three or four and you get a lovely baiting pattern as they just spray out across the water and I'll just pick one point on the horizon, another point and I'll spray baits between them points then put three rods across it. It's really simple fishing but it's very effective. When the fish tend to be out in the open water and you know they're, they're just they're covering an area, not any, any feature particularly, it's nice to just drop a couple of rigs on them then spray a few baits over the top because you can cover a massive area with even with a small amount of bait. The throwing stick that I'm using is a little bit different for a few reasons. The first thing you'll see is the loading port. It's just above the handle and this makes loading the throwing stick really easy and you can keep your eye on the horizon so you don't lose your rhythm and keep the baits landing in the same area. Now if you're putting a load of bait out, the last thing you want is a heavy throwing stick. You're going to pick up injuries like tennis elbow. The carbon throwing stick is nice and light, so not only is it easy to put the bait out, it's fast. You'll also notice that in the cross section, it's teardrop shape. This will help it to cut through the wind, making it easier to use. Finally, and it shouldn't be overlooked, it's got a comfortable non-slip handle.